It's sleek, it's sexy, and it's filled with fun. Could it be that Fujifilm has one of the best instant printers out there? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Erin, and today I wanna to dive right into talking to you about the Instax Square Link. Now this video is not sponsored. I did buy this with my own money, and I wanna tell you a little bit about my experience using it so far. This printer first came out in November 2022, and to be honest with you, when it first came out, I was a little bit skeptical, but that was only because I had tried the Instax Mini Link prior to that, and I wasn't too crazy with the image quality. I felt like it came out a little bit overexposed. By the way, if you're looking for a really good hybrid camera, you can also check out my video on the Instax Mini Evo over here. When I first did the research for this printer, there were a lot of people hanging on to their Share SP3, claiming the print quality was better or they preferred the Wi-Fi over the Bluetooth connection. I'm not really sure. Either way, the good news is that the Mini Evo preceded the Instax Square Link, so the picture quality is some of the best that you can get with Fuji's Instax line. Take a look at the two side by side. What do you think? All right, and as you can see here, the image size on the Instax Square is of course bigger than that of the Mini and measures about 3.4 by 2.8 inches. Although it's not as big as a Polaroid per se, I personally really enjoy shooting and printing images in this classic square shape. Plus the image quality is really good. The film itself costs $20 for about 20 images. So that's like $1 an image. And all considering that's not too bad when it comes to instant film. To load the printer, it's also really easy. All you have to do is take the film out of the package, open this little release here, and line up the yellow marks with one another, and boom, the dark slide will eject automatically. As you can see, Fujifilm went with a sleek, minimalistic design. It also comes in two colors. We have ash white and midnight green. This, of course, is the midnight green. There's this middle button here, which is the power button, and a function button here in the upper left-hand corner, which will help you connect through Bluetooth to your smartphone. I especially like its compact design because, of course, it fits right into your backpack or suitcase, and it weighs a total of 8.3 ounces, measuring about 4.1 by 5 inches, and is only about 1.5 inches thick. All in all, it's a lot more portable than some of the other instant printers out there. To power this printer, it comes with a USB-C cable, which you can plug into the side here. It also has an internal lithium ion battery, and as far as battery life goes, you should be able to print about 100 pictures before you need to recharge it. So far, so good. It hasn't really given me any trouble. One disappointing thing about this is that the Instax Link printer only works with the XS10. As far as I know, I've been looking everywhere. I did think that most of the newer cameras would be able to sync up with these printers, but it appears that they're really only a smartphone printer. Now, of course, I'm still in the midst of researching this and I wanna find out a little bit more information, but if by any chance you know anything about the information and whether or not it works with other Fuji cameras, could you please let me know in the comments below? I would find that very helpful. Now, Fuji did come out recently with the Instax Pal, which was designed to be used with these printers specifically. I had the chance to play around with it at the Fujikina here in Berlin, but more on that in another video. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Instax Link app. Now, when it comes to fun, Fuji definitely doesn't disappoint. Though I've never used half of these features, well, at least not until now when I decided to make this video, there's still a lot of cool features and things I would have never thought of when making a printer in the first place. Of course, there is your standard print, so you can just print a normal photo out. There's also different filters you can use, such as black and white, sepia tone, or of course, this auto. I personally like the auto because it sharpens the image and fixes the color so that it adapts to the printer and you usually get a better print quality when you use it. Then you can use this AR or augmented reality print. This is pretty cool. You can create a little animation to go with your image and it will print with a QR code so that whenever somebody scans it, they can see the animation that you have added to it. And it looks really cool. As you can see here, every time I move the photo around, the animation also moves. There's also this Instax Connect, which is pretty cool. You can basically text somebody back and forth over top of a picture that looks like an instant photo that you send them. You can also print collages with multiple pictures in them. You can change background colors, add text, or play around with a variety of different things. The only disappointing part was I wanted to use multiple features all at once. Like for example, I wanted to write something and have an augmented reality 
image all combined, but yeah, unfortunately you can only pick and choose one at a time. There is a print history where it will save all of the images you've printed off. And if you're creating art, like I often am, it's really great to go back and be able to print the same photos over and over again without having to start from the beginning or remember which filter you used or how you printed it the first time. And speaking of which, one of the main reasons I bought this printer was so that I could do experimental techniques with insects film. So if you're interested in learning more about creating transparencies and other things, you can go ahead and check out some of my other videos and shorts on that as well. So ultimately, if you're looking for a fun little companion that allows you to turn all your images into tangible instant photos, this is definitely the right instant printer for you. And better yet, it only costs a little over a hundred bucks on Amazon. Well, that's it for me today. If you guys have any questions or comments still remaining, go ahead and pop them below. Also, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.